with a big bang approach once the new system is in place. Hello everyone, today we got extra news for today's video. Now I did tweet this out the other day, XRP, the underlying technology behind it tells all, right? Now why does this tell all guys? Because that is where the world is heading towards, right? Outdated technologies gets left behind. There's always going to be new tech up on the horizon from every industry guys, right? And for every industry. XRP lawyer, sweet owl. Look at this. David Schwartz himself stated this. I'll just keep building the tech that will prove you wrong. There we go, guys. XRP is basically guess where and what part of the game plan. Crazy stuff. Now why? The proof is right here. Updated. Cross-border payments page. Accelerate your payments business from Ripple. Cross-border payments settlements in seconds. Not days. Seconds but not days. Swift. Oh, Swift. Expand your reach and accelerate your payments business. Deliver real-time global payments without tying up capital in destination markets. Our proven technology and global network enable remittances, SME payments, flows that are faster, more reliable, and more affordable for organizations and their customers. Now, why won't th these, these financial institutions, companies, and central banks use this technology? Why won't they, guys? Of course they will, right? It has all the advantages. Has all the advantages. Again, it seems like where we're heading towards is improving, improving old technologies. Why industry leader choose our cross-border payment solutions. Free up working capital. Offer lower cost payments. Enable faster payments. Expand into new markets. Again, how Ripple's cross-border payment solution works. Ripple solution has significantly reduced the cost and delivery time for cross-border transfers and our customers are seeing the benefits, right? So Ripple is what? XRP is solving a real world problem. Guys, we do not make these things up and guess what else is taking place this year? Yes, 2022. Look at this right here. In November, Swift will migrate to the new global payment messaging standard, ISO 222, with just seven months to go. Wow, guys, look at this. Changes on the final stretch. Oh, the finale, the finish line. Did we just see? Did we just hear? I think so, guys. I think so, which is very interesting. They tweet this out as well. When we talked about how the reset, right, the quote-unquote reset could be taking place at fall. Guess what else ties in with that? This right here. The final stretch, by the way. Oh. In November 2022, the Euro system, EBA clearing, and SWIFT will all migrate to the new global payment messaging standard ISO 222 with less than seven months ago. The new global payment messaging standard has been straightforward. Again, it's all about the new, right? Improving technologies, old technologies. Mr. Bull himself stated that SWIFT will be readjusted 2021-2022. Again, it is right there in front of our faces that it has to be this year, guys. Things will be taking place this year. But now, with less than seven months ago, before the Euro European high value and cross-border payments, oh will go live over the weekend 1920 November. It seems likely the target is finally still and financial institutions around the world are waiting with their arrows. Interesting. We are set to replace our core banking system in January 2023, which means that come November 2022, when the migration to ISO 222 goes live for high value payments in Europe 
and cross-border payments globally, we will still be using our current and soon-to-be legacy core banking system. Guys, literally, the world is the world is changing right before our faces. Now look at this. With a big bang approach once the new system is in place. Oh, wow. Again, the world is changing from the old, which is the current, to the new, which is this new financial system that's literally up on the horizon. And we are on the forefront of that, right? XRP, because we are invested into XRP. Beautiful, guys. Look at this suite. It connects to this as well. It connects how XRP will be the heart of the new financial system, right? Will be the central role. Santander and Ripple bring faster, cheaper cross-border payments to millions of retail and commercial customers. Listen to this. My name is Ed Metzger. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for OnePayFX. OnePayFX is the uh, name that Santander has given to its new proposition for international payments. Banco Santander um, is the, the biggest bank in the, the Eurozone by market capitalization and we have over 140 million customers around the world. The reason why we were, um, we as Santander were interested in, in, in Ripple and able to um, move quickly into this space uh, was, was driven ultimately by the customer need and actually that search for solutions as to how to create that kind of customer experience. Ripple addresses helps us address some of those pain points that we have seen in the past with some of our customers. And that's around being able to generate that certainty and that transparency along the transaction so that we can show that to our customers when they're making their, their payment, they can see how much is gonna arrive and they've got that, that certainty about the timing as well. And Ripple also helps us address the speed point as well. So we, we've seen some, um, you know, some of our payments now are um, instant, which for an international payment is um, a, a, a great achievement. And that, you know, is something that our customers have really been happy with. In um, the territories where we've launched it, we're seeing um, customers do more business with us. So we see more transactions from the, the, the same set of customers. Um, and that's a very positive um, reinforcement of the service. We've also seen some evidence of customers changing their behavior. Um, so as, as, as they understand that the service is faster and as they understand that service gives them that certainty of how much is going to arrive there, we've seen some evidence of customers using it in, in uh, new ways, a little bit more uh, akin to uh, a, a standard domestic payment. And that, that customer behavior again um, is very positive for us because it tells us that people feel comfortable using the service. Again, these people are getting the green light, right? They got the order, hey, to change how everything works in the current system. Now look at this. Things are getting, I mean, this is just, this is just hilarious at this point. This is why I sold all my Ethereum right there. But then shouldn't you have sold it two years ago because we are China controlled? Guys, look at him attacking. Ripple and XRP once again. Uh, crazy, 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 crazy. But need money for ETH gas fees, by the way, right? Come on, Vitalik. We know he's just a puppet though, right? So at the end of the day, he's just playing his role. Why? Because he was told to do so at the end of the day. Now, let's quickly talk about what's happening with the charts because there is a bit of hopium here. This is a comparison chart of DXY, which is the USD and Bitcoin. Look at these boxes. Every time the USD rejected at this level, Bitcoin started a massive rally. If the DXY rejects, this could be the bottom of the next wave. This is the USD right here. Bitcoin parabolically went up. Another time right here, USD rejected. Bitcoin went up. Look at that. And then the, the DXY, which is the USD is right here as well the resistance points, right? If this dumps, crypto is going to pump. But if if this pumps, crypto will further keep on dumping. I don't think it's time for that to really happen, guys, because I don't really see them cracking down on Bitcoin at this specific moment. I think it's just going to take another few months, perhaps 
at the fall time frame. So we just wait till the time arrives. But anyways, that's all for you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys please leave a like, subscribe, so be to be watch. I see you soon. Amazing. Anyway, guys, see you.